what kind of advice would you give to the chief commercial officer, chief sales officer in that when they're moving up to become the CEO? What's there? Yeah. What's some are going to be some of the traps and pitfalls they need to avoid? I, I think the, the the biggest pitfall I see is is the sort of working assumption that the engineering side, because they don't really think about product or design, right? That the engineering side is full of mostly lazy prima donnas who are spending a lot of their day eating bonbons and playing Fortnite and not being productive and whatever, right? That, that there's this sort of um, uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper thought that mm -hmm. they don't do anything, but they like to lecture to us. And, and I think that's fundamentally wrong. I think that's fundamentally incorrect. Almost every engineering team I've worked with is full of hardworking, dedicated, introverted folks who desperately want to build things that the world is going mm -hmm. to love and, and give them some positive feedback. But again, back to our language, the way they express themselves simply doesn't land in sales terms. And so if I'm moving from the, the chief revenue officer up to CEO, um, and I expect to maintain any kind of relationship with the folks who build what I sell, I've got to, you know, drink uh, six pints of humility here, really listen. And, and uh, actually, I think the, the, the tip here is folks on the maker side believe that if they say something once, that you're going to listen and hear and understand it, mm -hmm. right? There's, there's some talking heads in here about say something once, why say it again? Um, whereas on the sales side, you're used to needing to repeat over and over again and push and escalate and make the points again seven times, 50 times. And, the, and there's this horrible moment where the head of engineering or the head of product says, that's not going to work and here's why. Mm -hmm. And as a salesperson, um, it's not selling until I've been told no at least three times, right? <laughs> and so I'm going to engage in trying to convince you as my engineering or product lead that you're wrong, that in fact there is room in the stack, that there's time, that it's not technically fraught, right? Where the person I'm talking to told me once that it's not going to work, it's never going to work, it's going to be broken and, and sink the company, and I didn't hear them the first time. And so then they write me off as not a listener and I write them off as useless or intransigent, right? And, and it's because my assumption is that, that we're going to have this extended argument and then you might win. And the, and the folks on the other side are giving up. They're walking away. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting, isn't it? 